I'm Misha. <laughs> well, I'm from Maldives. My name is Beto. I'm from Mexico. I'm Ruth Mulandi. I'm from Kenya. I went to a university education fair and I met a representative from APU there and he introduced us to APU and I was so interested because in in my country we don't get our students like students who study history and geography don't get a lot of opportunities but this this university it was perfect for our students like me I heard about APU by a Mexican friend who came to the getaway program and since the moment I heard about it I I felt that that was my university. I've met a lot of people from, from different countries and in only two days have learned a lot. Yep. I already did a degree before, so I came to APU for my second degree. I chose APU because it's a multicultural setting and I like to learn about culture. So this is just the perfect setting for me to learn about different types of cultures. I also love Japanese very, very much. I've been studying Japanese for a long time. And so I wanted to come to Japan so that I can perfect my Japanese and learn more about Japanese skills. In the future, I would like to be an ambassador of Kenya to Japan. So I want to know everything about Japanese culture and language so that I can represent Kenya properly. because I haven't worn, worn this properly, I mean, before yet, so yeah. I'm, I'm afraid of how other people will react to this, but so far they've been just taking a lot of pictures. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of Japanese classes uh, and during the first semester you have to learn Japanese really quickly which I think is a very, it's a very smart decision. I, I'm enjoying a lot learning Japanese because you can learn about the culture and you can start interacting with Japanese people quick, quicker. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying uh, my Japanese classes. At the moment I'm taking Japanese foundation classes and workshop classes and also statistics and mathematics classes. Yeah. In Japanese classes we learn how to basic Japanese and how to communicate and write in Japanese and how to speak in Japanese. Also in workshop we learn how to write, do writing when the process of learning how to write our proper reports. Yeah, and in mathematics and social classes, we just learn how to do mathematics and to calculate data statistics. Hmm. I'm taking um, Japanese Foundation 1. I have three teachers, Foundation 1, Foundation 2, Foundation 3. So, uh, three teachers. And then there's workshop. Workshop, there's, I think I just got really lucky. <laughs> I got really funny teachers and they make class interesting, even workshop, even Japanese. As for math, I, I'm, take, I'm currently taking um, mathematics for social science. It's, I, when I went to my last class, it was only for the first, first half of spring um, semester, so uh, <laughs> I can't say it's a lecture class. It was interesting, but I like math, so I think I was able to enjoy it. I 
I explored a lot of a lot about the Oceanian cultures and I found that we actually have a lot in common between island countries. We have a lot in common and I was really happy to find that. I think my best friend <laughs> is Japanese. He's Japanese. He he lived in in Mexico for one year. So he speaks Spanish. He he's Japanese, he acts like a Japanese. He moves like a Japanese, but he has a Mexican heart. So that's that's why we we are very good friends. We can communicate very easily and I learned a lot a lot of Japanese culture from him and he learns a lot of Mexican culture from me because we we use Spanish for communicating, which I never thought that I I would be able to to do here. In AP House, there is activities such as World Festival, so we practice dancing and what we'll present during the World Festival. So those are the things I've been able to do. Also, during my free time, I go to local exchange programs organized by SAS. I've gone to Yiji town and explained my culture to the local residents. And also, I've applied for another one in June to go and to a high school in somewhere in Fiji and explain about my culture. My short-term goals try to absorb everything. My mid-term goals is to improve my communication skills. Yeah, I want to practice my public speaking skills, English, Japanese and Spanish as well. I want to be able to adjust to campus life and find my own niche and express myself in Japanese. In 2015, I want to know how to give back to the community around me and back at home in Kenya. I want to be one of the top students here. Like, have, have a high GPA and maintain it that way. I want to study a wide variety of subjects because yeah, it's a, it's a part of like finding and exploring the things that I want to do. I want to take it step by step and enjoy every moment of it because that's one of the main goals here. The, big, the biggest challenge is to believe in myself. The main challenge is to fight against that feeling that I am not capable of, complete, of completing a task or, you know, or a goal that I have set for myself. One, one of the main, main challenges that I'm facing here is like time management. To do that, I think I have to know my limits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know my limits and discover that if I, if I find my limits, I can challenge myself to go beyond it or I can stay in the safe zone. I can decide depending on which is more important. Independence is difficult because I feel I haven't known myself yet as an adult. I don't know so many things about myself that I would want to know. I have to be a different person, I have to grow. So I can't wait to see who I will be in the next four years and what I will have done. So I'm really looking forward to my self-development.